You know, I really, really do hope you've got your Costco card handy because it's gonna come in clutch when you're doing out a deal on a Volvo XC60. What I wanna do for you in this video is break down exactly what to be targeting as far as a really, really good price, whether you're planning on purchasing or leasing a 2021 Volvo XC60, as well as give you some rough maintenance costs and some average insurance rates. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this thing is gonna cost you. What is happening, guys? Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting. And in the description below, you're gonna find so many different resources to help you with not only just finding the best deal on a Volvo XC60, but you can also shop around for insurance rates as well as your FICO auto scores. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is gonna teach you everything you're gonna need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. Now in the United States, there's not too, too many XC60s. You're not gonna find a whole ton sitting there at your local dealership. So keep in mind, getting under the invoice price may be a little bit difficult until things start to catch back up. At the moment, the split between 2020 and 2021 inventory is that we've got 4,000 roughly 2021s and about 235 2020s. Now of those 4,000 2021s, we're dealing with roughly about a thousand front wheel drive models and roughly 3,000 all wheel drive models. And of those 3,000 all wheel drive models, we're dealing with about 1,100 T5 inscriptions, 930 T5 momentums, 80 T5 R designs, 315 T6 inscriptions, 260 T6 momentums and a whopping three T6 R design. So I wanted to use something that's very, very commonly seen and desired, which is probably gonna be your typical T5 momentum. Now, the one that I've got picked out, the one behind me, well, not literally the one behind me, but the one that I've got picked out is a T5 momentum all wheel drive with an MSRP of $49,010. Now the typical markup on a Volvo before any holdbacks, before any sort of manufacturer to dealer credits, depending on how much business they actually do, it's about 5.75%, roughly about 6% is the markup between the actual invoice price, which is what the dealership owns the car for versus what the full sticker price is that the dealership shows on that little window sticker on the side of the car. Now, assuming we're going after the invoice price and nothing less than that, it brings us to a target, to basically a number that we wanna see before any rebates, before any Costco card discounts of 46,190. Now, if you're paying in cash this month, there is a rebate of $1,500. However, there's also a 0% APR offer. Now, if you're planning on paying in cash, you'll get the 1,500, but if you're planning on taking advantage of the 0% APR, your rebate goes down to $1,000. Like I mentioned in the very beginning, if you've got a Costco card, you could get another $1,500 off. And if you've got a Volvo now, you could get another $1,500 off. However, taking for example, we've only got just ourselves, no Costco, no Volvo, etc., we'd be dealing with a final target price of $45,190. Now, if you're planning on leasing the XC60, I'm gonna be running a scenario with, again, just the Volvo, no Costco, no you know, loyalty bonus, no nothing like that. And assuming we're going after the same target selling price, same 46,190, we've got a $1,500 rebate if you're leasing, which we are because we're in the lease section. Again, $1,000 for loyalty if you've got a current Volvo, but we're not gonna be using that in the calculation. 58% residual this month at 36 months at 10,000 miles a year and a .00089 money factor in my region. I wanna caution you, if you live in a different region than the Northeast, your money factor could change, as well as some of the rebates that I'm talking about right now, it could be much better, it could be much worse, or next month, the residuals and rates could change. 
I've got my course in the description below where I teach you how to get current up-to-date information, whether you're purchasing or leasing. Now, assuming that we're giving just the inception fees due at start for this lease, so your first payment, acquisition fee, doc fee, registration, all that stuff, due up front, roughly about 2,300. Now, again, this does not include loyalty. This does not include the Costco membership, uh, nothing like that. It's a little bit steep, roughly about $555 a month. And again, that's including mass state sales tax. However, if you got the Costco card, you could get another 40 bucks off. If you got loyalty, that's another 30 bucks off. You could be seeing the high 400, such as the numbers that everybody on the forums and so on and so forth. The numbers that they keep telling you they got. However, 555 is what the calculator is telling me on a 49K car. Do better, visit the links in the description below, shop around the deal, and if you can get under invoice and use your Costco card, loyalty, etc., you can definitely see a pretty smoking hot deal in the 400s on the XC60. Now, I was a little bit surprised because the average in repairs and maintenance on the XC60 were not all too, too high. Now, according to Edmonds, the maintenance costs for five years of ownership are looking at about $3,000 and the average repairs are about $1,400. And if you're leasing, the repairs are zero because obviously the car's covered under warranty, but maintenance is about 900 for the first three years, 1,000 for year four, roughly 1,000 for year five. So realistically, the maintenance costs resemble something that of, of like an Acura or a Honda, not all too, too crazy. Pretty impressed with Volvo's rough maintenance costs according to Edmunds. Now, as far as insurance goes, again, very impressed. However, at the same time, it is the safest SUV. So at, you know, I'm not like insanely blown away, but at the same time, you know, it is an expensive car to fix if something does, you know, break on it, etc. through insurance. So the average insurance premium was about 1350 in the United States. And according to Quote Inspector, 2300 in California, 2100 in New York City, Seattle, Washington's at 1310, Columbus, Ohio is at 1125. So, realistically speaking, you're not spending all too much money on this XC60. I want to encourage you guys, shop around the deal as best as you can. Visit the links in the description below. Check out new car deals. Get an insurance quote. Check your FICO auto scores to make sure you're not going to get taken advantage of at the dealership. If you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.